Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and we are also back with the LG Wine Smartphone. So first and foremost, I want to thank every one of you who watched the first video. It received a lot of love and also it received a lot of questions. But here I am to answer all of those. How did I customize my phone and some commands that I did with the uh, keypads here on it. So before we start, I hope you will like this video and don't forget to subscribe onto my channel, okay? Thank you! Okay, so I put the phone back in everything the way that it was when I bought it. So this is how the lock screen looks like when, um, if your phone is new or like when you open it first time. So I'm just gonna open it and this is what the home screen looks like. Okay, so it's like it's in an easy mode or easy home uh, from what I remembered. Okay, so we are going to change that. What did I do first is went to the simple settings you just scroll it down I want to change the font size into small and then we're going to do the wallpaper after here okay so the home mode here is easy home so I'm going to change it to the normal home okay so this is what it's gonna look like Okay, so this apps here, I have actually already uh, put that before, but you can customize it as well. What apps do you want to put here on your home screen so that you don't have to go to the menu home and see all the apps there before you going to go to the app that you really want to. So I've put it already here on home screen, so it's easy access. Okay, so that's what's going to look like. And then, let's go back to settings. I have already changed the font size into small, but we haven't seen some changes, I think. And we're going to go on to the view all settings. Okay. So we're going to scroll down and let's go on display okay so here on display this is what you're gonna see it's the brightness screen timeout screen of effect i just turned off the auto rotate screen and then font type okay so you can change the font type of this phone so there are a few choices to choose from but from what i remembered i choose the travel one so it's already changed it's font type okay i hope you can, uh, you can see it and then the font size, okay, it's already on small. And then you also have um, the option of keypad light. Turn on keypad light. It's this one, okay. You cannot see it much because there's a light, but yeah, you can turn that off. There is an option that you can turn off the keypad light, but I think it's very much useful if it's on, especially when you're in the dark. And then the notification LED, um, this is where you can see the notification led here actually when you charge it it's all on red but if it's fully charged it's gonna go it gonna goes on green okay so someone also asked how did i manage to change this keypad kakao top pad into like messenger or when you press this you can go uh, directly to messenger so it's here actually on the settings so you just need to scroll down and choose here how top key so it's uh just here on settings app and then you just press that shortcut key the capo top key you just go press that as well so you can change it here so these are the options or yeah you can see the options here that you want to change the capo top keypad and I've chose it for the messenger light so that when I open the messenger or when I press the Kakao Taki, it will go directly to the messenger app because I use that more often than Kakao Talk. So, yeah. So, it's ready to change. Let's see. Let's go back and then press the Kakao Taki, and there it is. Okay. Now, how I'm gonna change this wallpaper into the one that I've made before it's like it's um, a live wallpaper so there's an app that I downloaded and this is the app the vaporwave wallpapers and I really really love this app because it gives a really vintage vibes and yeah it's really really cool so let's go onto that app 
Okay, so again, this is the app that I've downloaded for uh, to customize my phone for wallpapers and lock screens. But unfortunately, I cannot open it because it doesn't have a Wi-Fi. My phone doesn't have a Wi-Fi yet. And I have taken out my SIM card so I cannot use the data now. So I cannot show you how this the app looks like when you open it. But yeah, the, it really gives off the vintage vibes but don't worry i've downloaded some of the pictures or some of the uh, gif wallpapers the live wallpapers so one trick about using a live wallpaper for this phone is that once you've downloaded um the pictures or the live wallpapers so it's gonna go onto your album like this one so these are the samples of the live wallpapers I've downloaded from the Vaporwave app. So as you can see, it runs or yeah, it moves very smoothly. It doesn't, it's not laggy or something. And yes, it's gonna be good on your phone. As you can see, it's cute. It's Sailor Moon. So I've downloaded several live wallpapers to choose from. And it's really really vintage i really like it okay so yeah um the trick that i am going to show you is of course first uh like other phones do what we do is we uh, we go to the album and then choose a picture on a live wallpaper and then make it as our wallpaper but that's not the case here for the lg mind smart because if that's what we're gonna do so we're already here on the album Let's click this one. For example, this is what I like to be my live wallpaper. And then we're going to choose set image as then home screen wallpaper. But it's gonna be just a still image. So it's not gonna move if that's what we're going to do. See? It's not moving. So that's not how we activate the live wallpaper. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and then we're going to go to view all settings let's go to home screen go to wallpaper and then we are going to choose the live wallpapers so that's how we were going to activate um the live or moving wallpapers for our phone and then we're going to choose the vaporwave wallpapers album That's how you're going to choose your wallpaper. So let's click apply. Let's go back to home. And there you go. It's already moving. <laughs> that easy. Okay, now we're going to change the lock screen. So as you can see, this is our lock screen. It's very bland. And very bland it's not not like so i also downloaded some photos from vaporwave wallpaper and this is it this is from hayao miyazaki's movie okay i think i'm gonna choose this one okay so let's set that as wallpaper so here on uh, the wallpaper you can already go the, uh, straight from there as your lock screen wallpaper so let's see there you go so that's how easy it is done but one more thing that i'm going to teach you is how to change also the wallpaper from your messaging app okay so this is this is what um the messaging app looks like here at lg one smart so it have blue sky just a normal one it's cute actually it's cute i don't i don't mind not changing it but of course you have the option so we're going to click this three dots here and then change theme so you can change that so you can choose actually on your gallery or it also have this options here but i'm going to go to the gallery let's i'll go here 
So I'll change it into this one. So let's go on to OK. And that's it. You can also change the bubble message. So you're just pressing here. And you can change it into that. Which is also really nice. I think this is clear to yellow and white. Let's press OK. Yes. Let's go back to the messages. Let's see. And voila. That's how it is. So I think I have already showed you what I know most of how to change the wallpapers and touch here on the phone. So I hope you like this video guys. Don't forget to click the like button and also don't forget to subscribe onto my channel, okay? Let me know what phones or reviews you want to know next and I'll keep a tab on that, okay? So have a great day guys. Bye bye. Keep safe. Bye.